guys, it's Half. I am back again and this is going to be an update of my Project Pan Roulette collab with Zelma, Leah and Connie. Liz was doing it but she has ended hers. Uh, Connie and Leah haven't done one this month. Um, they're both like, super busy. I'm late with mine. Zelma's is already up. Hers will be linked down below. I'll still link Connie and Leah as well. Uh, June was a pretty bad month for me. I was actually sick for most of it. Sick or injured for most of the month. It was pretty terrible. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It was a pretty shitty month. And uh, I did not cope particularly well with it. Uh, trying to get my shit together. So I am a little bit late with this update. But I am. I'm filming it. Uh, I'm not going to go through what I've already used up. I've shown that in the other videos. If you want to you can check out um, there's a playlist well it should be in one of my playlists I should probably make a specific playlist for this one anyway um, <laughs> when we do the finale for this uh, in at the start of November end of October start of November um, I will go through everything that I have used up anyway so you'll see it then um, at this time I'm not going to um, I'm just going to show what I'm currently working on. I did actually finish one thing, which was the Lacura Deep Cleansing Seaweed Facial Scrub. Uh, it's not a particularly good facial scrub, let's just put it that way. I didn't really particularly feel like I get quite a bit of um, congestion sort of in the pores around my nose in particular and across my chin. I didn't feel that this really did too much to help that. Um, yeah. So I probably would not buy this one again, but I have used it all up. So that is the only thing I finished in the last month. On to the things that I haven't finished and I'm still working on. The Avon Arabian Glow Bronzing Pearls. Um, they still look pretty well. They still look exactly the same. Um, I did insert a photo in the last one showing sort of like the difference. And there is a little bit of a difference, but... I just keep on using it and using it and one day it will give up the ghost. Uh, the blush I have in this is Maybelline's Wild Blossom, which looks like that. Um, as you can see it's pretty flat. It's getting there. Um, but I tend to work sort of like right on the edges of it. So you can sort of see where the pan is around the edges, but I just keep on working on it. It's, it's a nice enough product, I don't have a problem with it, and it's a nice coloured blush. It's a bit darker than the other blush that I'm using in a project, which is what I'm wearing today. Um, so the eyeliner, the Room Will Scandalize in Bright Blue, which, not bright blue, I mean bright blue. Um, Oh, there's actually been quite a bit of progress on this. I used it as a base for a um, blue smoky eye. I did blue smoky eye something today, but I didn't actually um, use this as the base. But I did on a different occasion. So, that's where we were last time, and that's where we are now. So, you know. A bit of a jump there. Um, am I going to finish this by the end of the year? No, probably not. Am I worried? No. <laughs> A sparkly product. This is the Cargo Lip Gloss in Sahara. It doesn't want to slide down the tube properly. Um, so there's probably more in it than it looks. I'm just going to put the line about there. This is probably the most successful I've ever been with a lip product. Uh, so that up there was where we were. We're about there. You can actually see the tube thingy down there, but there's a whole bunch of product up here. So I'm just going to say that's about where we are. It's what I'm wearing over a lip liner today. Excuse my nose, I'm still sick. The next one was uh, this clean colour lipstick in sealed secret which is a dark grey purple kind of colour 
I think I wore this like once. Um, so it doesn't look any different. It's still basically a full lipstick. It's another thing I'm not going to get done by the end of the year, but I'm not particularly worried. Uh, highlighter. The Lorac Perfectly Lit. And I have been working right in this area here. So there is quite a, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see, but there is quite a sizable dent thing and I like concentrate the end of my brush right in that spot there. Um, I don't know how deep this pan is, so I have no idea um, how long that's going to take, but, but we're getting there. I'm making progress, I know that. Uh, the next one is the product you always love when you use it, which was an eyeshadow, which was a brown eyeshadow. Every time I open this, the black one goes everywhere. It was in this spot right here. I depotted it along with another one from another palette, which was virtually exactly the same color. And then I pressed them together into this little pot. Uh, it is very, very thin. I tend to use this as a bit of a transition colour. Um, there are some spots looking like they're almost going to break through. Um, and then there are some thicker spots. But um, I use it basically every time I do my eyeshadow. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be done before the end of the year at the very least. And I have black eyeshadow everywhere. Uh, next we have the eye cream, which is the Natural Instinct Eye Cream. Um, I was complaining how it only let a little bit out, like you squeeze it and then a tiny bit came out. Squeezed it day, and instead of just a tiny bit came out, a huge blob came out. It's the first time it's ever happened. It was so weird. So maybe there was like a blockage there or something. I don't know. Um, but uh, we were up there. We're now down there. Ish. Um, it's a slow going because it's just an eye cream um, and sometimes I forget to actually use it. Especially when I'm sick. The expensive makeup product was the Anika Pure Primer. I just use this when I'm doing my makeup so I, and I can't see through it. I have no idea where I am. I guess one day it'll just stop working. Um, I have no idea when that will be. Uh, next we have the Kate by Rimmel lipstick in 45, which is um, nude. It's just a nudie colour. I've actually used it quite a bit. I don't know if it's moved any, but let me just... Yeah, it's moved a little bit. seems to be, I don't like nudes, but I seem to be using nudes a lot on my lips. Probably because I've been wearing so much glue on my eyes because of other projects. So, that was the last time I actually measured it, which was back in March. And that's where we are now. So, it's made a little progress. I'm sorry if the light just disappeared. The weather has come in. Uh, next, we have the Designer Brown's Eye Primer which is just a clear eye primer. I have no idea how much is left. I just use it when I do my makeup and it'll get used up eventually. The Tarina Tarantino Purple Velvet Eye Product. Oops, I do that every single time. Every single time. It's one of those ones where that there is the product, just that little cappy thing. Um, it's quite a dark purple. It's called Purple Velvet. I have used it a couple of times, but I don't know how much is left, so I just keep on using it. The favourite 
product from Category of Choice was the Grace Cole Hand Cream in Pineapple and Passion Fruit. We were up there last time, down there. I probably could have got more use out of it, but sometimes I just forget to use it. Again, especially when I'm sick, I just forget to do stuff. And the last one, which is what I added in last time, is the NYX HD Finishing Powder, which I use to set underneath my eyes. Sometimes I set my whole face with it. It just depends. Um, I bake with it sometimes. So that that line up there was where we were, and that's where we are now. I've actually moved through this really fast, like way faster than I thought I was going to. Um, it is quite a finely milled powder, so it does tend to go everywhere. But that's all right. So. I have to pick one more item to add in. There's my little box of choices. Just see what I get. Sorry for the noise in the background. Someone's boiling a kettle. And this says oldest lip product, and I'm I I oh. No, I'm just not. I'm just not. I'm just going to pick something else. Okay. Num, a uh, product you aren't sure if you like. Okay. I know just the thing. <laughs> oh. So, for a product that I'm not sure that I like, is one that I used actually for the first time today. No idea how I feel about it yet. This is the Models Co. More Brow. It is a gel brow thing. It looks like it's got some fibres in it. Um, but it's got this teeny tiny little wand. Like even with my teeny tiny little eyebrows. It's a teeny tiny little wand. It seems to be okay. This is in light medium. Um, because my hair is such an interesting colour, I can get away with dark eyebrows anyway. But this is not particularly dark. Um, my eyebrows do feel a tiny bit crusty, but, but yeah, so I'm going to add this in, I, it's brand new, today was the first time I've ever used it, so it's completely full, I don't know how long it would take to use one up, so, so that is it for my update, I will leave the other girls linked down below, if you want to subscribe, then click the little button down there, or there's like an icon floating on the screen near my head. Um, leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pant Up videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.